I think I got it figured out. Hi everyone, it's Ian the Off-Kilter Crafter. Hope you're having a great day today. I actually did a whole intro sequence without y'all being here. Still learning how to do these live events and live video and all of that stuff, so I apologize if I'm running a little late tonight. I'm still getting used to this whole setup. Cinnamon and John have it down to a science now. I watched over John's shoulder whenever he goes live with Cinnamon and it, he makes it look so easy and it's not, guys. Especially for one person, so I apologize if this is running a little bit late. Let me know that y'all can actually see me this time and hear me okay. Make sure to uh, leave over in the chat. For me, it's over here, but for y'all, it's in a different place. So make sure that you uh, let me know that you're here, that you can see me, that you can hear me, all that stuff, because I'm still freaked out that I'm actually not broadcasting out like I was hoping to. It looks like I am, because I see uh, Christy says hello, uh, Angela says hello, Barbara says hello, the Art Sherpa's here. Yes, can see in here. Okay, good. I did it right this time. Wow. All right. I will get the hang of this eventually, I promise. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for joining me tonight. Um, I am having issues with my internet service provider, so I'm hoping to get this out before we have another issue. That's why I reset the router. For those of you in chat before we got started, I reset my router because usually I don't have any problems for a little bit after I reset it. So they're coming out on Monday to hopefully check over the entire system and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to bump up my upload speeds, but at least we hopefully have it here today. And we have a lot of people here today. I'm, I don't know exactly how many people are here at this moment. It looks like... Well, I don't have my counter up right now, so I can't see how many people are in here at the moment. But guys, again, thank you so much for joining me while we do this. Um, this is a lot of fun. ATCs. I don't know how many of y'all know what those are, but for those of you who don't know what an ATC is, it's an artist trading card. I, of course, don't have one within arm's reach of me at this very moment. But, uh, oh, thank you, Simon. 29 people are here. Thank you, guys. Uh... ATCs, artist trading cards, I don't have one right nearby at this very moment, but, oh, yes, I do, it's right here. I just saw it, it's on the, oh, it's stuck to my board, hold on, there we go. So this is an example of an ATC right here. I actually got this one uh, during a Halloween ATC swap. They're basically the size of a playing card. This was made by, uh, uh, <laughs> creepy, by Danielle Carver. Um, so basically, they are artist training cards that you can swap and give to people and it's a lot of fun swapping them so that way you can kind of get an idea of each person's individual personality and how their art style is. I'm a part of the um, design team for the Art Sherpa. Thank you Cinnamon for allowing me to be a part of that. And a part of that I get to open up a mystery box each month. So last month we did Hope. This upcoming month, June, we have another uh, very exciting theme to go off of. I'm super excited for this one. I have a great idea. We'll see if it actually holds together through this whole process, but um, it's. I have an idea, and I've, I, I actually went out and bought something today that I was very excited for, so I'm hoping that it'll work out well and I can incorporate it into what I'm going to be doing. Some of y'all saw last month, in, or this month, I should say, in May, whenever I put together the Hope Rainbow ATC, and I really hope whoever gets it um, likes it because that was that was a real stretch of the imagination for me since I'm not really a painter. Uh, let's see, Angela, I love doing ATCs. Angela, they are a lot of fun. Uh, for those of you watching on the replay, you can see the chat going, I hope, if this is working the way I hope it is, uh, you'll be able to see the chat. So I may reference over into the chat sometimes. I uh, put my first ATC in the mail today. Awesome. Good job. Great job, uh, CRC Creations. It is a lot of fun. Uh, Cinnamon is excited. Everyone is excited. So the suspense is now over. Let's go ahead and switch over to my project here. I'm going to put my mouse right over there for just a moment. This is what I got in the mail today. And for a little while, I was afraid that it was not going to get to my post office box. I was really quite afraid. Oh, by the way, guys, if we get disconnected on this live event, um, head over to my live page you can find the link down in the very bottom if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of my description you will see the link for that but that's only if uh, we get disconnected from that I did want to say that 
just to make sure, because I, like, Cinnamon feels my pain, internet providers can be a pain. All right, so, uh, let's see, we have this very exciting box right here, and I love it. It's, uh, let's see if we can bring this up to where you can read it. On this little charm right here, it says, live the life you've imagined. I know, I love the box. I, it was a great surprise, but I think what's going to be inside is even more, more of a surprise. Art by Fancy Nancy is here. She is a part of the design team as well. Make sure to check her out. She did a great ATC last month. keep saying last month, this month. So make sure to go check out her ATC. And it is time to open the box. I hope, Cinnamon, I'm not about to reveal the theme. I know what the theme is. John handmade this box. Wow. Okay. That's pretty impressive. I can't even get it open, though. <laughs> let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to pull it off camera for a second. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see here. I, I'm, I'm super afraid I'm about to reveal a theme. Okay, good. There's no theme. Not yet. I know John is really just so creative and I think that fit this I think this fits the theme very well. So we'll go ahead and put it over here. Theme is in the bottle. Okay. Uh Oh, I think I see a bottle. I I'm kind of I I don't that's got to be hidden for now. All right. So let's pull this. We'll go from this corner. Oh. I don't know what this is. Okay. There's something else. What? All the lovely worms are in. The oh! Oh! We have a little easel, it looks like. Just kind of set it up like that. I wonder if. Does this go. I wonder if that goes on there. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, look at that. All right. There is, what is this? Oh my gosh. This is Faber-Castell. Did I say that right? Faber-Castell. Um, probably not saying that correctly. This is 24 soft pastels. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's, this is like a full-size box, guys. Dude. Look at that! Oh, how cool! I can't. I'm, I'm like scared. I, Cinnamon, you would be so ashamed of me because I'm scared of art supplies. I don't want to damage them. <laughs> Come here. All right. Look at that. Ooh, soft pastels. That's fun. Look at that. I like that. All right. So that will be fun to play with all these back in there. I love soft pastels, but um, I'm always like, I'm very heavy handed. And so I end up like using a lot of it because of how pressure, how much pressure I'm on. They are so pretty cinnamon. Okay. I don't, oh, blending sticks, all sorts of sizes. We have some blending sticks here. Yeah. so many different ones. Angela tells me I don't need to be afraid of them. I can't help it. I'm like, I whenever I use them, I go a little heavy-handed. All right, what else do we have? Oh, I see another easel. There we go. Put that right up there. Perfect. All right. Oh. Oh my. Okay. So we have a bottle and a key. Hmm. Such mystery. Yes, blindy, 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 blindy. Uh, such mystery with this. Wonder what could be inside. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh man, this is really put on tight. Ooh, there we go. A message in a bottle that's not coming out. It's literally stuck. Uh oh. Like, literally stuck. Theme is in the bottle. Well, I can't reveal what the theme is. 
because that won't come out until June 1st. And I literally can't reveal the theme because it doesn't come out. <laughs> so I'm going to have to use some of my wizard magic. Oh, there it is. All right. But guess what, guys? I can't open this. I can't open this until June 1st. So you will have to come back to my YouTube channel and find out what the theme is on June 1st and how I'm going to use these awesome supplies to create an awesome ATC. Get tweezers. <laughs> I know all that suspense and finally getting it out and I can't even reveal what it is. Oh no! But, I mean, this is, this is pretty awesome. I wonder, I'm, I'm assuming I can use my blending sticks with these soft pastels, right? I know everyone's like, no! have to reveal the theme. I can't. I can't. You're just going to have to come back and check it out. Um, so, I have unboxed the things. I have to use at least one of the items from this box and put it onto my ATC. And I don't know which one I'm going to be using. Wouldn't it be funny if I stuck this on an ATC? No, that's, that's not it. The paper is Strathmore for pastels. Excellent! All right, so this paper right here. Oh, there's more than one piece of paper. Oh, I should have seen that. All right, so we got, oh, we have, oh, wait, there's more. Cinnamon could tell that I wasn't realizing that there was more papers. Oh, look at this. All right. John had hand cut out some sheets. I bet he did. All right, guys, so we have this Fabra-Castell. No, this is not Fabra-Castell. Who's this again? Strathmore. Oh, I should know that because when I was at NAMTA, I got some of the same papers while I was there. So I have a lot of papers to choose from. Now, I can only make two ATCs, and I may only be making one, but these are the colors that I get to work with. Which, I already have a great idea. I think I already know which one of these I'm going to be using. But look at those. Those are a lot of fun. And what's interesting, um, let's see if I can find the pad. Nope, that's not it. One of these pads, when I was talking with um, Strathmore at their booth, they were, okay, so I think it's this sketchbook here. Yes, okay. So they were telling me these are sample pads. These are not what the size pads uh, come in. Uh, but they were telling me that their normal size pads, they have this kind of blue toned color to them. It's the exact same one as I think this one. Very close to it. Um, and they found that people were, because this is only intended to be a cover. Like you can take this paper and make it the cover. You can um, tear this part off and sketch on this and make it anything that you want. And then you had white paper inside, but they found a lot of people using this tone and color for their sketches. And people started wanting a uh, book that was fully just this color paper. So out of their sketch and mixed media water, watercolor vision uh, pad, they decided to make an entire pad of paper that 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 had that blue color, which came out to be the Tone Blue Mixed Media Paper, which is this one right here, I think. It's very close to it. It may not be the exact one, but it's very close. So, yep, all right, awesome. Strathmore, thank you. Fabro Castell, thank you. Uh, let's see, yes, well, John has to do our ATC video for this month, he, 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 he. Yeah, we are all excited, guys. Don't forget, if you don't know who are in the design team or who we are, make sure to click uh, down in the description below. Fancy Nancy is one of them. Stephanie Bergeron from De Deliberately Creative. Mark Bergeron from 
Oh dear, I forgot his YouTube name. He's his is listed down there as well. Um, we are all part of the design team. We also have Fancy Nancy. That's the only na name I know you by, Nancy. It's Fancy Nancy. That, that's immediately the name that goes in my head when I think of you is Fancy Nancy. Um, so yeah, that's what we got in this mystery box. Uh, really excited to do this. And like I said, I bought a mystery supply um, for this craft for this ATC, specifically for this ATC, because I had an idea of where we were going with it. So I'm super excited. I'm just gonna peek over at this really quick. Let's see here. Oh, I can't open it. I literally can't open it. It is glued shut at this moment, so I'm gonna have to check it out later. But anyways, I think I know the theme. I hope I know the theme. Lots of secrets going on, but trust me guys, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for June 1st, I'll put my video up. It'll be on a Friday, which is my normal upload schedule, so you'll be able to catch it then and catch everything out. I do want to say a huge thank you to Cinnamon. You have brightened my day a lot. I was having a rather rough day, and you definitely brought a smile and brightened my day, and literally brightened my day with all the um, wonderful uh, pastels. So literally brightened up my day. Uh, lots of fun. And what's the, that theme? Again, I can't tell you what the theme is. Not yet. Last month was Hope. June 1st will reveal another theme. The June theme. And of course you'll get your ATCs from May as well. Which is super exciting. Don't forget if you are interested in becoming a member of the ATC swap, you can. The link is down in the description below. Make sure to go check it out. And you can do the um, pay-as-you-go, where you send in one of your, you send in a stamp with your ATC, or if you'd like to sign up and become part of the ATC Swap Club, you can do that as well. Um, it works off of a three-month segment, so that way you're prepaid for that three months, and you get to take part in it, and you don't have to worry about um, putting a stamp into your envelope and stuff like that. Send them in, correct me if I'm wrong on any of that. Uh, ping you after I of course will do that uh, yeah so super excited for all this um, I guess let's go to Q&A if anybody has any questions or anything like that for the ATC club or anything about ATCs as well she does that a lot doesn't she yes she does absolutely Christy she does brighten our days a lot it just covers the global postage. All right, so Cinnamon says it covers the global postage. So they're not making any profit off of that, uh, off of the money for the, if you want to do the three months, it only covers the global stamps that are needed to send them all over the place. It's a 10 for three month and it's free if you uh, put in your own stamp. Yeah, thank you Cinnamon, I appreciate that. So it is $10 for three months and it is free if you put in your own stamp. So either way, you are able to be a part of it and really it is a lot of fun because you get art from sometimes around the world, um, sometimes from people. I don't think anybody like across town has ended up with each other's yet. But I'm, I'm waiting to see if anybody ends up like one person in the same city gets their from one city in the... Not my what I'm talking about. Anyways, any questions? Are you making an ant? An ant with your ATC Cricut sometime? Oh, uh, I might I might make an ATC using my Cricut. I don't think it's going to be this one. Don't pay to get themes early. Oh, I think they do. Cinnamon... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think if you are a paid ATC member, you get the theme early, if I remember correctly. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that one. I just had a minute. Words. Has to be a good sign, definitely. Definitely. All right, guys. Uh, I am going to get to work. I'm going to start recording my video, I think, once I jump off of here. Uh... Okay, so Fancy Nancy corrected, what did she say? Are you going to make an ATC with your Cricut sometime? Yes, Nancy, I will be using the Cricut at some point since I do have two of them. Oops, since I do have two, this is weird because the camera's backwards to me. I will be making an ATC at some point using the Cricut, so. 
uh, d -d 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 email atc at artsherpa.com and John can let you know. There you go. C or C, there you go. Can I just send a $10 bill with my ATC? Oh, that's a great question, uh, CRC Creations. Uh, email Art Sherp, or excuse me, email ATC at artsherpa.com and John can let you know. There you go. Where do we get it early if paid? It should be on the website if I remember correctly. If you go to the artsherpa.com slash ATC, you can get it there if you're a paid member and if you're early, I think. Again, Cinnamon or Nancy, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm still a new person in this, so uh, I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. All right. I have ideas for an ATC, so I still want to protect, participate next month. You should, Christy. You absolutely should. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and jump off of here. I'm going to get to recording, hopefully, as soon as this ends, and uh, hopefully get to check, uh, get all these supplies together and check everything out again. So we had our Faber Castell, Soft Pastels, Pastels, am I saying any of that correct? We have our blending sticks, we have two easels, and we have lots of paper in this very intriguing box. So, all right guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it, and I'm really excited to get started on this, and I can't wait for y'all to join me back here on my YouTube channel and all the other design team members at their YouTube channels as we put together our ATCs on June 1st. Mark that on your calendars. It is not far away. We're already at the 24th. I can't believe it. My birthday is in less than a week and it is like snuck up on me. I always thought that was a myth when I was a kid. Like how could a birthday sneak up on you? It snuck up on me and it's, I'm like, it's knocking on the door. I'm like, whoa, what just happened? All right. Anyways, I hope everybody has a great night, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. That lets you know when I go live or post new videos here on YouTube. So make sure to go click that bell. Ring-a-ding-ding, ding-a-ding-ding. I know all the YouTubers are saying their little cute thing for the bell. I don't really have one, so just click the bell. It makes things easier. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. Check me out on my social media links. You might even get a sneak peek at what I'm doing for my ATC on those social media links. Those are listed down in the description below. And remember guys, as my favorite quote says, normal is just a setting on the dryer. All right, I hope everybody has a great day and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.